I learned a very important lesson the other day. There's no such thing as a secular Christmas. I'm author Gwen Elise Clayton, and I write about Christmas in my books for Modest Sellers and Zinfandel's Grimoire. I'm not anti-Christmas at all, but even though I've been a practicing pagan for more than two decades, I've been celebrating a secular Christmas with my husband and his family since 2013. For the past eight years, I've been telling myself that Christmas is no longer a religious holiday, but that isn't true. A friend of mine who's Jewish was complaining on Facebook a few nights ago that her son's school had a party with Santa Claus and elves and red and green decorations. She was furious. She was absolutely furious. She was explaining that when you see these types of images, you don't think of Hanukkah or Diwali. You think of Christmas. Even though we all know that Santa Claus and elves and the Tannenbaum have pagan roots, we still associate them with the Christian holiday of Christmas. Even if we take out the nativity scenes and the angel decorations, Christmas is still a religious holiday. It's named after the Christian holy figure Jesus. He is, after all, the reason for the season. There was an episode of Northern Exposure back in the 90s where the characters were trying to get Dr. Joel Fleischman, who was Jewish, to decorate his home in very neutral decor. So like they'd have a season tree or, or whatever. I wasn't able to find the episode online, but I remember it from back in the day. And he really tried. He tried to be part of the mainstream holiday, the, this religiously neutral holiday. But he said, every time I look under the tree, I find a matzo ball. So he's just, he's Jewish. He's Jewish and there's no sense trying to erase that part of his culture. If we say Christmas is a secular holiday, then we're saying everybody in our culture has to celebrate that holiday. That includes Jews, Muslims, Hindu, Buddhists, Taoists, anybody, any other non-Christian groups have to celebrate the birth of a God they don't worship. Spiritual agency is our most sacred human right. No one should ever feel alienated or belittled or harassed because they believe differently. The United States is growing in religious diversity. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, while the overwhelming majority of Americans identify as Christian, our society is becoming increasingly agnostic, atheist, Muslim, Wiccan, and Buddhist. There's nothing wrong with celebrating Christmas, either religiously or secularly. It's a worldwide holiday rich with traditions, including music, food, folklore, and decorations. The emotional energy of this time of year has left a heavy imprint that has created its own sort of magic. But it's imperative that we as a civilized society respect those who don't share our religious beliefs. While it's true that Christians are called to shine their light brightly and share the word of God, that isn't accomplished through force or shame. It's done by being humble and kind, generous and gracious, honest and dependable. It's like that old Amish saying, if you want to know if I'm a Christian, don't ask me, ask my neighbor. So in this time of peace on earth and goodwill toward all, I leave you with a challenge for 2022. Get to know the people of your community. Find out what holidays they celebrate and what their family traditions are. The more you get to know them, the more you'll understand and appreciate their unique contributions 
to your community. Then we can begin to create all new traditions that meaningfully represent all of us and can be passed down to future generations. Happy Holidays from Rivervine. I'm your host, Gwen Elise Clayton. If you found this video informative or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. And if you consider yourself a critical thinker with a sense of wonder, subscribe to this channel. I post news, features, and commentary every Tuesday.